Welcome to Aerobics Lifestyle. Today we're going to take you through a Pilates workout. We're going to start with the traditional warm-up on the mat, get your spine mobilised and your abs switched on. Now if you haven't done Pilates before, please feel free to take it easy. Look at me. Mia is sneezing in the background behind me and I was trying very hard to ignore that until I heard everyone else start giggling. We're going to start with a warm-up on the mat. So start lying down. She must be allergic to this beautiful weather and this beautiful beach that we're on. We're at Palm Beach if you're interested. There's gorgeous water behind. Beautiful sand. Start with your feet hip width apart. 90 degree angle at your knee joint. And just tucking and arching. Starting to mobilise. Starting to warm up your pelvis and your lower back. Good. Just very gently working through your tuck. And then working through your arch. Very small range of movement. And then I just want you to settle in between those two positions in your neutral pelvis position. You've got your tailbone down, natural curve in your lower back, your ribs are relaxed down, and there's a natural curve in the back of your neck. Just drop your chin slightly so you've got a nice long neckline, and that is your neutral spine position. It is the strongest and the safest position for your spine to be in. Holding that position, let's just go through our breathing. I'm going to get you to pop your hands on the outside of your ribs with your fingers just touching each other. Take a breath in through your nose and try and separate your fingers out so that you're expanding into your lungs and ribs. There's a tendency to breathe up here or to breathe into your abdominals. I want you to try and focus on actually breathing into your lungs and ribs. Breathe in sideways and exhale through your mouth. Just relax. Breathing in. And breathing in. Beautiful. This time, take your breath in sideways as you just did. Exhale through your mouth and start to draw your navel to your spine without losing your neutral position. Keeping your spine in the exact same position, you're just thinking about pulling your belly button in towards your spine and that's going to help you switch on your deep abdominals. Holding on to that position, hands by your sides and take it into a pelvic roller. Take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, flatten your back, tuck your pelvis and start to gently roll your hips all the way up to the top until there's one long line from knees to hips to shoulders, breathing in. Exhale and roll down one vertebra at a time and release yourself all the way back into neutral. Breathing in. Breathe out, flatten your back, tuck your pelvis and roll your hips all the way up to the top. Stay there, breathe in. Breathe out as you roll down. Just working through each vertebra, articulating your spine, releasing all the way back into neutral. One more time, take your breath in. Breathe out, flatten your back, tuck your pelvis, roll all the way up to the top, holding it at the top. Take your breath in and exhale, vertebra by vertebra, releasing yourself all the way back into neutral. We're gonna do what's called a curl up, interlock your fingers behind your head, as you breathe in, I just want you to lengthen the back of your neck, dropping your chin. Now as you breathe out, curl up, trying to get those shoulder blades off the floor, pulling the belly button in. Stay there, take a breath in, and exhale, just relax down. Breathe in to lengthen, and breathe out. Curling up high, pulling the navel in towards the spine, staying there, breathing in, and breathe out, just release down. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out, curl up, stay here, breathe in, and breathe out, release down. Let's move that onto a twist, adding on. Breathe in to lengthen the neck. Breathe out, curl up high. Now stay there, take your breath in. As you breathe out, I just want you to twist, lift the shoulder, and breathe in as you go back to center. Breathe out, twist. Rotate, get the shoulder off the floor, and breathe in center. Four more times, please. Breathe out, twist. Breathe into centre. Breathe out, twist. Breathe in centre. Two more to go. Breathing out. Breathing in. Last one. Breathing out. Breathing in. And just release yourself all the way down. Take your arms out to chest tight. Pull your ankles and knees together. Lift your heels off the floor. Use your abdominals. Draw your legs to 90 degrees. And I'm going to leave you with the side to side. We'll see you straight after this short break for some more work.
Welcome back. We're about to get into an abdominal series. Now with Pilates, what you have to remember when you're doing abdominals is that feeling of drawing your belly button in towards your spine and narrowing your waist. That's switching on your very deep abdominal muscles and stopping your superficial six-pack muscle from taking over all the work. So, keeping your back flat, curling your upper body forward and drawing the belly button in is what we're working towards. If at any stage you feel that it's too much pressure for your neck, keep your hands behind your head to support it or put your head down and work in neutral. Let's get started. Lying down, lifting one leg up to 90 degrees, lifting the second leg up to 90 degrees, still pulling the navel towards the spine. Interlock your hands behind your head. Now the same as we did in the warm-up, breathe in to lengthen and breathe out to curl up. Keep that connection. Now pop your hands onto the back knee, breathe in to prepare. This is called the single leg stretch. Breathing out and return. Breathe out two. Trying to keep the feet on the same plane. Three. And return. Breathe out four. And return. Breathe out five. And release. Six. Try not to take your feet too high. That's going to make it too easy. You want to take your feet right out in front. The same length and the same plane. One more time. Pop your hands behind your head. We're going to add in what's called a twist. Right leg, right shoulder, breathe in centre. Left leg, left shoulder, so you're twisting to the inside knee and release. Breathe out three and centre. Try to keep those elbows back. Four and centre. Breathe out five. Breathe out six. Breathe out seven. Breathe out eight. Breathe out nine. Breathe out 10. Now get ready for a double leg extension. Breathe out to extend and breathe into bend. Now if this is too strong for you, you can take it to a half range and back. Breathe out four. Breathing in. Lengthen out five. Keep drawing the navel towards the spine, curling the shoulders off the floor. Breathing in. Breathe out seven. Breathing in. Breathe out eight. We're nearly there. Breathe out nine. Breathe out 10, hold it. Pull your hands behind your thighs, pull yourself up a little bit higher for your hamstring pull. Breathe out one, and release. Lower the second leg, and release. Try not to pull the leg any closer than 90 degrees. Breathing in. Breathe out four. Breathe out five. Breathing in. Breathe out six. Good, navel to the spine the whole time. Seven, you're nearly there, stay with it. Breathe out eight. Breathe out nine, 10, hands behind your head, last set, breathe out one, breathe out two, good, try not to let the back come off the floor, no arching, breathe out four, keep drawing in, breathe out five, breathe out six, breathe out seven, breathe out eight, breathe out nine, Breathe out, 10, and release. Just draw your knees into your chest. Pop your feet on the floor, release your knees from side to side. Just giving your spine a stretch. Very gently. And we're gonna do an exercise called the roller. This is a modified version of the roller. All I want you to do, lift the legs to 90, interlock the hands underneath the knees. You're gonna flex the feet, breathe in to prepare. As you breathe up, roll yourself up, extend your legs out, and just try and reach forward. Getting a really nice stretch through your lower back, through your hamstrings. Breathe in, bend the knees in. Lift them, roll down slowly, and flex the feet. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, use the tummy, pull up, lengthen the legs out, and stretch all the way forward into it. Stay there, breathe in as you roll up. Good, holding on, and slowly work your way all the way back down. Head comes to the floor, flex your feet. Breathing in. Breathe out, roll up, lengthen, and reach forward. Good, now hold on to your ankles, your feet, your calves, your knees, wherever you get to, hold on, and just flex. I want you to get a really nice stretch into the back of your hamstrings, into your lower back. Point, roll, Bring the knees in 
and slowly release yourself all the way back down and flex your feet. Last one. Breathing out, roll out and stretch. Release into it and try and hold the stretch for a little bit longer. We'll see you straight after the break for the next segment. This next segment, we're focusing on one of the most requested body parts. Two things people always ask us, abs, abs and abs, and bum. So we've just done a little bit of ab work. We're gonna head down to the floor, lying down on your side to do some bum work. This is called the clam series. You reach your arm out, pop your towel down to support your neck, and then pop your head down. Can I get you to bend your knees into about a 90 degree angle so that your heels are actually in line with your bum? Lift the waist off the floor and draw the abdominals in. All I want you to do is separate the top leg and then release it down. Open out and slowly release. Try not to rock back onto the hip at all. Try and keep the hips absolutely square. Open and release. Open and release. Keep the tummy muscles drawn in. Open and release down. Open. And down, beautiful, this is seven. And down, keeping the heels in line with your bum, eight. And down, two more times, lifting nine. Last one, lift up and lower. Same exercise, but your feet are off the floor, changing the angle, lift and lower. Two, and lower, keep drawing the abs in, lifting the weight off the floor, three. And down, you can pop your hand behind your pelvis if you want just to check that you're not rotating back at all on that hip, keeping it absolutely still. Lift and lower, three more times, guys, three. And two, keeping the tummy drawn in, keeping those hips in line, and one. Let's move on to an extension, I want you to open. Extend the leg, touch the toe and lower down. Open, extend, touch, and lower, keep this going. Who thought such a small exercise could cause so much pain? Together, and lower. Open, extend, touch, and lower. Lift, extend, touch, and lower. How to three more sounds. Up, lengthen, touch, and lower. Two more, up, lengthen, touch, and lower. Last one, up. Lengthen, touch, and lower, and relax. Give it a bit of a massage. Let's change sides. Moving over to the other side, same sequence. Lying down, arm out, then towel, then head. Lying with your ankles in line with your bum, waist off the floor, and keeping that pelvis still. We're gonna lift and lower. Keeping it controlled, lift, and lower, now no rocking back, pop your hand there if you want. Imagine a brick wall straight down behind your pelvis, so you can't rock back on it. Lift and lower, try and get a really nice opening and release, keep this going. Out, slowly down, out, three more times. Three, control and lower. Breathe out as you lift and in as you lower. Two more, and lower. Last one, and down, beautiful. Get your feet off the floor, same sequence. Lifting up, and lowering down. Lifting up, and down. If you can, try to keep that waist engaged and lift it off the floor. Lift, and lower. This is four, and down. And five, and down. Six, and slowly. Seven, keep the control, try not to speed up as you go. Eight, two more, nine, and 10. Last section, we lift, lengthen, touch, and down. Lift, lengthen, touch, 
and down. Try and get a really nice extension. Reach, touch, and down. And again, open, extend, touch, and down. How's this feeling? Up, lengthen, touch. You're nearly there, I promise. Three more, up, lengthen, touch. Stay with it, last two, up, reach, touch and down, one more, up, reach, touch and relax, give it a bit of a massage and then sit up and stretch that out. Sitting facing up, cross your legs over, reach the arms all the way over the head and then just reach out in front of you, stretching, oh that should feel very yum after that, releasing into this. Trying to hold this for a good 20 seconds and then changing sides. We'll see you straight after this. We're going to do some stretching, releasing out through your lower back, through your hamstrings, and through the back of your shoulders. This exercise is called the saw. Can I get you to sit with your legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart? If you're flexible, you can take them slightly wider. Now, if you get a rounded lower back, if you've got very tight hamstrings or a tight lower back, I'm gonna get you to prop yourself up with a cushion or a towel, like Mia's doing over there. I want you sitting tall, reaching your arms out to the sides. Try to drop your shoulder blades nicely down your back. You're just gonna breathe in, twist to the side, pop the back of the hand against the leg, and reach down. Make sure that the opposite bum cheek is not lifting off the floor, but pushed straight into it. Breathe in, lift, and breathe out center. Let's try the other side. Breathe in, twist. Put the back of the hand against the leg, and reach. Look behind you. Keep the opposite bum cheek flat on the floor. Breathe in to lift, and breathe out as you come across to center. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathe in, lift, and breathe out center. Keep the shoulder blades down your back. Breathe in, twist, and breathe out, reach. Breathe in, lift, and breathe out center. Can I do one more each way? Breathe in, twist, and breathe out, reach. Breathe in, lift, breathe out center, last one. Twist away, keep that bum planted on the floor. Reaching into it, looking behind you. Breathe in, lift, and breathe out center. Bring your legs close together. Cross one ankle over the other. So bring your right knee all the way into your chest. Take your left hand, hug it towards you, and just gently twist away. Stretching gently into your lower back. I'm using what my friends call my Pilates voice. Apparently, I have an aerobics voice, where I jump around and shout and scream and motivate. And then I have my really calm and subtle Pilates voice, which is what I'm doing now. Change legs. I have friends who come to my aerobics classes and my Pilates classes, and they say it's like a complete different personality. So I'm doing my calm, my calm Pilates stretching. Twisting it around, reaching out of your hips. And bringing it back to centre. Good, I want to do a glute stretch from all the bum work we just did before. Now we did the sitting one with cross leg. If that was strong enough for you, I'm gonna get you to keep that one. But if it wasn't, cross one leg over the other. So you've got a straight line across your shins and we're gonna take that a little bit deeper. Reach the arms up and lengthen forward. Now that should feel a fair bit deeper than the first one with cross legs. So you see how you feel. See which one's one that works for you. Just keep reaching into it. Keep your neck in line with your spine and you should feel a really good stretch through the glutes and the hip. Slowly rolling out of that, change sides, either sitting cross-legged or take one shin straight across the top of the other and walk yourself forward. Just relaxing into it. Keep the shoulders down the back but try and walk the fingertips forward. Good. Slowly rolling yourself out of that position and I'm going to get you to move into your rest pose. This time I just want you to separate your knees out, reach your arms forward and stretching out your lower back. If you enjoy Pilates, if that's the one thing that you tune into Aerobics Old Style for, please remember that we have got two Pilates DVDs available and a whole host of other DVDs. 
So you can either get it from your leading retailers or you can check it out at our website, www.aerobicsonstyle.com.au. Good. In this position, can I get you to dig your feet into the floor? Take a breath in and just push yourself up into your upstretch position. You're dropping your heels towards the floor, curling your tailbone towards the ceiling. Holding onto this, take a breath in. As you breathe out, slowly coming forward into a plank position. Draw your abdominals in, keeping your shoulder blades down your back, breathing in. And breathe out. Push into your upstretch, heels are low, chest towards your feet. Breathing in. And breathe out, coming forward, holding it in your plank. Remember you have the option of coming down to your knees if it's too strong for you. Breathing in. Breathing out. Drop the heels as low as you can. Push the chest towards your knees. Shoulder blades away from your ears. Breathe in. Now keep those heels low and breathe out. Come all the way forward into your plank position. Down to your knees and into a rest pose. That's all we have time for today. We'll see you in the very next episode of Aerobics Oz Style. Bye for now.